So what exactly is a poem? Throughout history, people have asked the question, but the answer is difficult to pin down. Is a poem a spark? An echo? A dream? Is it a factory of ideas? A cocoon? Or a stone thrown into a pond? Maybe it's a symphony of subtle sounds that sings our senses to life. It's hard to say exactly what a poem is, but one thing we can say is that it is not prose. For unlike the writing found in a work of literature, a poem uses condensed language, with all the water squeezed out of it. As W. Somerset Maugham writes, the crown of literature is poetry. It is its end and aim. It is the sublimest activity of the human mind. It is the achievement of beauty and delicacy. The writer of prose can only step aside when the poet passes. Yet, despite these words, we still remain no closer to a definition of what a poem is. So perhaps an answer will become clear if we look at the word itself. The word poem, a noun, comes from the ancient Greek verb boin, which means to create or make. So maybe our definition will be helped by simply asking what a poem makes or creates. And to this, what we can say is that a poem makes music. Through its rhythm, metre and rhyme, through its structures and forms across time. From haiku, sonnets, odes, raps and free verse into its loving arms we're coerced. It helps us to see afresh the moments we miss and holds us just back from the edge of the abyss. It holds up a mirror to our reflection so dim and calls for our voices to be part of a hymn. A hymn of wonder, thick buttered with life, melting the surface of our senses with delight. But stop, listen, wrestle, think, imagine, feel. What we know is that great poems have the power to start a fire in our mind. They can alter the way we see ourselves and they can change the way we see our world. A poem at its best calls forth our deep being. It dares us to break free from the safe strategies of the cautious mind and open our eyes to realities we could not even see. Poetry bids us to eat the apple of knowledge whole. But the point of reading a poem is not to try and solve it. The point is to let yourself be swept out by its currents into a sea of possibilities. And yet we still remain stuck. So what is a poem? Well, perhaps in the end we need to ask the experts, the poets of this world. And this is what they say. A poem's aim is to name the unnameable, to point at frauds, to take sides, start arguments, shape the world and stop it from going to sleep. If I feel physically as if the top of my head were taken off, I know that is poetry. A poem lifts the veil from the hidden beauty of the world and makes familiar objects be as if they were not familiar. A poem is born when an emotion has found its thought and the thought has found its words. 
poem is ordinary language raised to the nth power. Poetry is boned with ideas, nerved and blooded with emotions, all held together by the delicate, tough skin of words. Poetry is a mirror which makes beautiful that which is distorted. And finally, from Mr. Keating in the Dead Poet Society. Words and language, no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Now see that look in Mr. Pitt's eye, like 19th century literature has nothing to do with going to business school or medical school, right? Maybe. Mr. Hopkins, you may agree with them, thinking, yes, we should simply study our Mr. Pritchard and learn our rhyme and meter and go quietly about the business of achieving other ambitions. A little secret for you. Huddle up. Huddle up! We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, O oh, me, O oh, life, of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these, O oh, me, O oh, life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. The powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? Want to know more about poetry? Then follow us here at Lit Poetry as we go on a journey of discovery, reading, analysing and discussing some of the most important poems ever written. Lit Poetry's aim is to foster the love of poetry in a world where people find it hard knowing where to get started. We aim to provide you, the audience, with a firm foundation of knowledge and understanding to foster your love of this magnificent art. Poetry is worth it, because the reading and writing of poetry is a revolutionary act that has the potential to transform both the reader and our world.